Hello friends, after having understood the forward and reverse bias characteristics of a diode, let us try to draw the DC load line and get the Q point. So now we know the working of a diode. So the diode is forward biased when P is connected to positive and N is connected to negative. And similarly the diode is reverse biased if P is connected to negative and N is connected to positive. So here in the given circuit, what has been done is the diode D is forward biased where P is connected to positive and N is connected to negative through a load resistance RL. Now in that case, let the voltage across the diode B VF and what is VF? VF is equal to the cutting voltage or knee voltage which is approximately equal to 0.7 volts in case of a silicon diode and let IF be the current flowing in the circuit. So therefore, the voltage across and the voltage across RL, B, VL and what is VL? It is nothing but equal to the current IF into the resistance RL. So now let us write the KVL for this circuit. So the total voltage V equals IF into RL which happens to be the drop across the load resistance RL plus the voltage across the diode D which is Vf. So now I need to draw the DC load line on the forward characteristics of the diode. So this is the forward characteristics of the diode. So we find that after the cut-in voltage or knee voltage which is approximately 0.7 the current increases rapidly. So now to draw the DC load line which is a straight line here. So this straight line would give all the voltages and the current values for the given considered circuit. So it actually would give all the possible values of the voltages and currents that could possibly exist for a given electric circuit. So now to get the points what we do is I need to find a point on the x-axis and find a point on the y-axis. So to find a point on the x-axis I need to make IF with 0 where the x-axis is VF and the y-axis is IF which is the current flowing across the diode and VF is the voltage drop across the diode. So to find a point on the x-axis I make IF equal to 0. So to find a point on the x-axis we make IF equal to 0 in equation 1. So therefore V equals, so this is 0, Vf. Now let me assume that the voltage B 5 volts. So therefore what is Vf? So Vf is equal to 5 volts. So Vf is equal to V which is equal to 5 volts. So I get a point on the x-axis which is 5 comma 0. So after having got a point on the x-axis, I need a point on the y-axis. So to get a point on the y-axis, I need to make Vf equal to 0. Now to find the values, so to find the point on y-axis, Vf is made 0 in equation 1. So we have V equals IF into RL. So Vf is equal to 0. And what is IF? IF is V by R L. What is V? V is 5. So let, let us choose a value of R L. So let me assume that R L is equal to 50 ohms. So I have 5 by 50 which is equal to 100 milliamperes. So I have Y axis in milliamperes. So there is a point 0, 100 milliamperes. So this is the point on the y-axis. This is of course 100 milli which has been indicated here. So I have a point along the x-axis which is 5 comma 0. I have a point along the y-axis which is 0 comma 100 milliamperes, milli of course. So join these two points and this represents the DC load line. So what is the DC load line? The DC load line is a straight line which is drawn on the VI characteristics of the diode. So now if you observe this DC load line intersects 
the forward characteristics of the diode at one point. And this point is referred to as Q point or the Pison point. So in general, to get this straight line representation from this equation, we observe that what is Vf? Vf is nothing but x. So instead of writing the horizontal axis as, as x, I have written it as Vf. Instead of writing the y-axis as if, I have written the vertical axis as y-axis, I have written it as if. So I have Vf instead of x and if instead of y. So we know that the equation of a line is nothing but y equals mx plus c. So I need to get this equation 1 in this format. So we have if into rl equals, so let me take this to LHS on the other side, so I get V minus VF, isn't it? So I have IF equals, so I bring RL to RHS here, minus VF by RL plus V by RL. So therefore I have IF equals minus 1 by RL into VF plus V by RL. So comparing these two equations, so I have Y, instead of Y I have IF, MX, so instead of X I have VF, instead of M I have minus 1 by RL. So the slope of the DC load line is minus 1 by RL. And what about C? C is V by RL. So the Bison point, which is the Q point, is obtained by the intersection. So the Q point is nothing but is the intersection of the VI characteristics on the load line. So the Q point is the intersection of the VI characteristics on the load line. right? So this is the forward biased characteristics of the diode and this is the, do, the load line and you get the point of intersection which is the Q point which gives us the value VQ dash and IQ dash. So how do I get VQ dash and IQ dash? That is the voltage. You drop a perpendicular onto the horizontal axis I get VQ dash and drop a line which is parallel to the horizontal axis you get IQ dash so therefore, this voltage and the current represents the point Q, which is VQ dash and IQ dash. So of course, the Q point depends on the load RL and also depends on the voltage V. So as we vary the voltage V, if the source voltage is varied, what happens? The Q point varies or if I vary the load RL, then also the Q point will vary. So this is how we can find the Q point and this is how we draw the DC load line. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and to view videos in electronics click on the eye icon or go through the playlist electronics and thanks for watching.